was a life changing moment at a ballpark for a Nicholasville boy this weekend. Yeah, a 12 year old boy got his first look at the world in color with a lot of red. Former LAXAT reporter Alexa Helwig shows us the emotional moment. This is story story. It's all right here in the red. Colton Hurst looks up and down and side to side. Red. Everything was red. And it's this moment inside Great American Ballpark. Colton saw the world differently. The 12 year old from Nicholasville, Kentucky, was born colorblind. I was trying to figure out, like, how this was possible. Like, I, I didn't know that they would work. Colton's played baseball since he was five years old. He's in town for a tournament. We traveled three hours and uh, we're going to win a championship tomorrow. To draw up some motivation for their weekend games, Colton and his teammates watched the Reds play Friday night. But their focus changed when Colton's parents handed him an early birthday present at the game. They said, can you try on these glasses for me real quick? And then I put them on. They were colorblind glasses. He's seen a whole lot of color. Colton's parents captured it all on video to remember the priceless moment. I'm ugly crying. She's ugly crying. Everybody else around us who didn't even know us is ugly crying. So he says there wasn't a better place for his son to finally see the color red than a Reds game. I'm just thinking, wow, he could finally see what we see. And stuff like that we take for granted because we see it every day. A day after the game, Colton can't take off the glasses. He's thankful he had his entire team around him for the special moment. It's a well-deserved one for a special kid. I remember seeing red for the first time. It's just the first thing that shocked me whenever I put them on. That is so amazing. Alexa Helwig reporting. This story has really blown up around the country and we're going to catch up with Colton to see what he thinks about all this newfound attention and the color red. You'll hear from him tonight on LAX 18 News at 11.